Okay, so we're about to watch an exchange between D.A. Opper and uh, the court here about playing a video, an, an exhibit that was brought in. And I guess what's happening here is uh, even she has kind of had it with Darrell Brooks and his disruptive, disrespectful behavior in the court. This is the D.A. who initially was going to let him plead insanity without even trying to fight it. Now, he ultimately had to go under undergo an exam, and they found that he's not crazy. He's just a jerk. So I, I want to point that out about her, but even she has kind of had it with him, and I think the judge has too. Your offer of proof on that. Thank you, Judge. And another uh, thing worth noting is the testimony of Detective Casey that this video was obtained from the defendant's own Facebook account as well. The court is Objection, well aware there's media. nothing that... Hold on, well, sir. Stop interrupting. We have to make a record of it. You've they interrupted multiple times. I've been abundantly patient with clear. you. Again, another interruption. So you need to be quiet and let the state make a record. Stop gesturing at me. me to be quiet? Stop rolling your eyes at me. You, I, Stop I'm not, mumbling. I'm looking right at you. I'm not rolling my eyes. No, you I'm have looking. throughout. I've seen I'm it looking. and I've made note I'm of it. I'm looking at you. Okay, so are you asking me to be quiet or are you telling me to be quiet? Go ahead, Attorney Opper. Thank you, Your Honor. Take and just asking. to indicate, Your Honor, <clears throat> this court has been abundantly patient with Mr. Brooks. He challenges the court's authority repeatedly. This court absolutely has the ability to tell him to sit down and be quiet. And you haven't done that. And I know why you haven't done that, Your Honor. And we appreciate that. He is not in control of this courtroom. You are. And he needs to respect that. This video was relevant based on his questioning of Detective Casey, as you just indicated, challenging his ability to identify the person who had their back turned to the camera in the still shot of State's Exhibit 175. Trials are fluid. When he opened the door to that, we came up with the video which Detective Casey testified repeatedly on direct examination and cross-examination as to how he knew that was Mr. Brooks because he had seen the rest of the video. He would not accept that. He pushed it and pushed it and pushed it until we played the video. The lyrics of that video probably would have been prejudicial. Originally, I wasn't going to ask for volume. Then I did because he pushed it again and his voice and his mannerism of speech, I thought would have assisted the jury in identifying Mr. Brooks as the person in the video with the red SUV. However, you smartly asked me to play it without the audio, and I did that, and then I never went back to that. This is all to the benefit of this defendant who continues to suggest and impugn the integrity of this court and this prosecution without basis. He doesn't like it because the evidence is stacking up and stacking up. And whenever it does, his response is to accuse you, the court, or the prosecutors of being unethical and hiding things. There is nothing in law that prevents me from pulling something out of my briefcase right now and making it an exhibit if it's relevant. You decide what's relevant, what's admissible, not Mr. Brooks. There is no law he can cite to no law, no authority whatsoever that says I can't make an exhibit essentially on the fly if it's called for, and that's exactly what just happened here. So I apologize for my tone with the court. I don't mean to direct this at the court. It is very frustrating. The court has demonstrated much more patience than I have with Mr. Brooks because, again, I do not appreciate his impugning the integrity of these proceedings, of your honor's efforts to run a fair trial, and of our efforts to run a fair trial. We have ethical obligations as well to be fair in this courtroom. We have respected that entirely. The reason I was laughing 30 seconds ago was because the exhibit was mislabeled. There was an extra Y and it said Exhibit E, E-X-H-I-B-I-T-Y. And I turned around to the paralegal and pointed that out 
and we laughed over it, the word exhibity. That was it. There has been no disrespect directed at Mr. Brooks directly in any fashion. So he can object all he wants, and he has made that clear. He will continue to object and obstruct the court and obstruct these proceedings every last chance he gets. But legally, everything has been above board and proper, and this exhibit is no exception. I apologize for my tone, Judge. Thank you. I appreciate that additional uh, record being made. I object to that. My previous ruling doesn't change in any way that the exhibit is relevant. Um, I indicated I would take it up because, uh, and I'm taking what the state's saying as uh, withdrawing the request to play the lyrics. That is correct. All right. Um, I have not heard them, but I'll certainly take the state uh, at its word as an officer of the court that um, it would be prejudicial based upon the lyrics that are in that video but my decision to admit the video without audio stands. I do want to take up two other <coughs> issues. There was an objection uh, to questions regarding uh, cross-examination so the objections were by the state. One had to do with possible there's questioning about possible testimony with his niece and nephew and then the jail cell search issues. So Mr. Brooks, you asked the questions. Um, the state had objected. Since you're the proponent of what would presumably come in through the testimony of uh, Detective Casey, uh, what is your offer of proof as to why I should allow Detective Casey to come back on the stand and testify about his interaction? I believe it was with your mom and possible testimony of your niece and nephew. Um, it, it don't matter with Detective Casey. He, he's off the stand. He's not going back on the stand. To, no, but I told you I would recall no, I, him. I, I wanted want, to take wanted it up rebut, outside the presence of the jury. To, how do I supposed to know? So are you withdrawing that, sir? How am I supposed to know? I, I think I deserve a chance to rebut what was just said. I think I deserve that much if it's a fair trial. What information? Do you want to provide to me oh. about that last exhibit? About what last exhibit? I'm talking about the, the the audacity of the prosecution to just put that on the record when it's stated un, it's untrue. I don't know what you're talking about. What's untrue? We just heard her talk for five, ten minutes straight. Now don't nobody know what I'm talking about. I don't there was know a specifically made to, what you're talking there was a about. There's reference sir. made to what I'm supposed to know about the evidence stacking up and this and that as if that has any bearing on what I still think and what I'm still going to present. It doesn't. Well, that's not what we're talking about at the moment. I, I made a ruling she, on an exhibit. She's been laughing and, and making comments under her breath the whole time during the whole trial, and I never said nothing. I don't know what's being said, but I can tell that it's directed <laughs> towards me. I'm not a, I'm not an idiot. I, have, her to sit I there, haven't made I, any of those observations, I, I didn't sir. Say you. Observed, I didn't say you, Your Honor. No, no, no. What I've observed for, for her, is for as... Her, listen. Please go ahead for her to sit there and try to play it off as if she's not referencing to me. She must think I'm an idiot. Nobody that is very that, disrespectful to me. I haven't said anything about that until today. She's done it numerous times. What are you talking about? I don't her know what you're laughing talking. under her breath. Her trying to cover up the microphone so they can laugh and he he and key 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 that they've been doing that the whole time. I didn't, anything, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything about it. I have not noticed that. What I notice are three attorneys who cover up the microphone so that they're not heard when they're conferring with each other about evidentiary issues about, or about testimony. So why is it always laughing and, and, and giggling? I haven't noticed that. that, other than the one thing you pointed out. Well, we have we have cameras. That's what the cameras Mr. are Brooks, for. Let's refocus our attention on what we're here for, and that's okay, this trial. Okay, I'll take and that. Do as, you have anything I you want to put on as, the record? I'm putting it on the record. As if I get a chance. No, you need to let me finish. As it relates to the video and my decision to admit it, she just admitted that she just now came with the exhibit. It was not. A, she just said she just made it an exhibit. It that was not an exhibit before she made it. One. So, do you have some legal basis, sir, for your position? I'm what do I need any. legal basis for when she just admitted on the record that she just made this exhibit up no, right she now? Didn't. That is a complete mischaracterization. Sure, she did not. That's what. So she wasn't implying that by saying that, that she, she did not make it out of her suitcase. 
So that's a figure of Here, speech. Okay, so what right? is it implying to? What would that be implying to? As attorney, how would anyone, how would right, anyone in my position? I'm moving on because you're not providing would, me with any how legal would any, basis I didn't even finish. You, to, you told me that I can make the record. I'm intending sir, to make the well, record. Sir, as it relates to the video and my decision to admit it, do you I'll have just say that you didn't even let, let, me, let finish. me finish. You're not me finish. You didn't let me finish either, Your Honor. Because you're not providing providing me. You're but how do, you, rant, how do you know I wouldn't get to that if, if I didn't finish? You're not providing me with anything from a legal basis for which I would consider changing my mind. So the state's withdrawn their request to play the audio. Then why play the video at all then? I've already made a ruling on that. You're questioning the ruling. You're not asking me to reconsider it based on any legal there basis. There should be a legal, a legal reconsideration of it. Then you need to provide me with the legal basis for that, sir. So I'm supposed to just come off that with the top, off the top of my head? Yes. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> You're representing yourself. It's not ridiculous. It is ridiculous. So I was supposed to. I was supposed to already come in here this morning and say, "Oh, a video is going to be shown off the fly at the at the drop of a hat." Let me try to find some legal thing to combat. Mr. How am Brooks, I supposed to do you that? You open the bottom line is you open the door to it the playing it of that video. We're not talking about and the opening video was doors. previously provided to you during discovery. We're not talking There's about opening the doors. We're talking no, about being fair. There's absolutely if no I prejudice that, to you. Your Honor, in with terms all due of respect, surprise, with all due respect, exhibit. if I had right. done that, I am going to move on. If I had time. done that, it Mr. would have been Brooks, a big thing. I'm day. advising you. Are you asking you me? I'm advising you, sir. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'm I'll advising you to sit down and be quiet. And if you interrupt me again, you are on notice that you will forfeit your right to be present so in you're this trial. Me content. Mr. Brooks, for the entire trial. Did you say the entire trial? I never said any such thing. You said thing. for the trial. Please? So what do you mean? I'm asking what do you Mr. mean? Mr. Brooks, you continue to that come is not, at me. I don't consent to being caught You continue name. to fight with me. I'm you not are fighting being with disrespectful. You. I'm not fighting with you. I'm not. I'm going to give you, you one, one last opportunity to, to sit down and be quiet so I can make a, a finding as it relates to other things. Are you asking me to do that? Are you asking me to I don't need to ask. I'm telling you. Thank you. There were two other issues that came up that I advised the parties I would take up outside the presence of the jury uh, and give, if appropriate, Mr. Brooks the opportunity to ask further questions of Detective Casey. There was questioning by Mr. Brooks uh, about possible testimony and why it, it had to do with the, it was in the context of him questioning Detective Casey about uh, speaking with Don Woods, his mother, and about a time in August, uh, and there was some reference to his niece and nephew. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. Uh, absolutely insane behavior, um, but he's doing it on purpose. He is perfectly mentally sound. He is trying to look crazy so that he can appeal and try to claim that somehow he didn't understand the proceedings or he's not mentally fit. We all know that that isn't true, but this disruptive behavior, I believe he's doing it for a reason. I think that he wants people to think that he is somehow not getting a fair trial, doesn't understand what's happening, or is not mentally sound or fit to stand trial. Um, and that's simply not true. He knows exactly what he's doing. He has a strategy here. So I just kind of want everybody to keep that in mind. Anyways, um, I'm going to continue to follow the trial as much as I can. I have a lot going on right now, and I'll try to post clips uh, as I'm able. And, um, you know, let me know your thoughts.